there friends welcome back today i am giving an update on my little plant babies that you saw me plant in the last video and we are going to talk about my grow space setup my indoor grow space um i don't hey you know what come here i don't know if you've met claude before this is our cat you may see him from time to time um He's an indoor cat, but he is into everything. Um, and he's very nosy. So, number one, I had some big changes this year for my seed starting setup. Number one is this rolling shelf. This is gonna give me one, two, three, four, five shelves of grow space. And that is huge for me. That is a big expansion. <laughs> um, I also upgraded my heat mat. So my shelf is four feet wide. Um, and this heat mat is four feet wide or long, whatever you wanna say. Um, so this is a really big improvement for me. I went from having one of these guys, which is the size of one tray, um, where I would just kind of shuffle things around. Like, okay, I have one tray. <laughs> I, have, I know you're here. I have one tray that needs to germinate. Okay, it germinated, get it off the heat and under the light, and then the next tray can germinate. So it was a continuous kind of shuffle. Um, so with this heat mat, it's gonna allow me to have a lot more um, germination happening, whether I'm using the soil blocks or plug trays um, at one time. Those are my two big improvements. My addition this year was four more lights um, because I've got extra shelves. So these lights I had previously. Um, I got them either last year or two years ago and I like them a lot. They don't take up a lot of space. You can plug them together. You can link them up um, and they're LED so they don't cost too much to run. This video is actually a little bit delayed because I was waiting on the lights. I wanted to show kind of my whole setup, here it is, oh, let there be light kind of thing. Um, and they were just late. So we're actually gonna unbox them together. And I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that they're not broken because I'm gonna need them pretty soon. Before I unbox those, I wanna give you a little update on my soil blocks um, that you saw me seed in the last video. I had great germination. I had germination in four days um, and I did a little short on that. So you may have seen that, um, but my Snapdragons, four days on Snapdragons, like I'm really, I'm really happy with this first round. Um, so let's take a look at these little plant babies. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the Snapdragons first. I mean, look at those babies. If you remember, these seeds are very, very tiny. So these seedlings are very, very tiny. Um, I just love to watch these guys grow. So these are, again, at right now at this moment, we are, let's see, eight days out from seeding. This tray was kind of my test on these larger blocks. So this is actually Crespedia. Um, and this is, I'm really, really happy with this germination. Uh, parsley is taking its sweet time in this row, but we're getting some. Um, dill. Yeek. Uh, basil is looking really nice. Salvia is looking excellent. Let's see, bee balm, uh, monarda, I wanna say lombata, and we're back to Craspedia. So I'm going to give kind of weekly updates on these guys so you can watch them grow. And let's get to some light fixtures. And let's say a prayer that I'm not going to find any broken bulbs. Let's see what we got here. Now. Oh, shush. Now, there should be four complete... <laughs> lights in this box oh let's see 
I found these on Amazon. They are four foot shop lights. Pretty, pretty basic as far as lights go. I don't really get too fancy. All right, number one, let's see. Everything looks to be intact. Okay, well, these all look to be intact, but now I gotta test them and see if their appearance matches their function. Hey. Let there be light. Hate to say it, but Amazon for the win. When I'm ready to use these lights, I'll adjust the heights a little bit more. Um, I'm thinking my bottom shelf currently is germination, and then I'm moving them up. Those lights, it just worked out that way that those lights are the lowest. Um, so let me bring it down and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you can see here that on this tray of snaps, this light is just a couple inches away. Um, and that's exactly what I want. Um, I don't want them to be leggy. And right now, I mean, they're looking, they're looking pretty good. And also on the basil in here, um, the seedlings are staying nice and stout <laughs> for lack of a better word. I like a stout seedling. I know people sometimes get like wild about the, uh, the lights to use. I don't. What I look for is the lumens. So number one with LED lights, they do not give off a ton of heat um, like a fluorescent bulb would. Um, for me, that's fine because <laughs> this grow rack is in my dining room. For me, heat is not an issue. I have the heat mat for germination only. And then once I get 50% germination, they're off the heat. When I was looking for new or additional lights this time, I went off of the ones I already had. Um, and those lumens are, let's see, 3,000 lumens. So I believe my new ones are at least 4,000. As I am filling up this shelf, I will then... Um, link up those four additional lights, chain them together. I mean, and by that, I mean, plug them into each other, like Christmas lights, just connect strands. Um, I'm not doing that right now because I don't need to. I know that this shelf is gonna fill up pretty quickly because I already have plans to do more seedlings than I did last year, and that's kind of how it goes. Um, but, I'm excited. I'm happy to be starting seeds and smelling some <laughs> dirt. And I'm really happy with how these uh, soil block experiments are going so far. My most recent guys are, I use these two inch blocks, the bigger blocks again. I did more, um, like this is all dill. 
So there's some 28. Yeah. So there's 28 blocks of dill on this one little cafeteria tray. And these guys, if I am, if I'm going to sell them, I'm going to be able to pop this block right into my larger container that I will sell them in. Um, and if I'm going to keep them for myself, I'm just going to plop that block right, right into the ground and I'm not going to have to pot up at all. We are just about 11 weeks out from our last frost. So next week I will continue to plant some flowers. Um, and we are almost into that seeding time for peppers and tomatoes and some of those warm weather annual crops. Um, and that's just always an exciting time because you know you're getting, you're kind, you kind of made it over the hump, okay? The days are getting longer. There's some hope. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or would like to know more about anything involved in my setup, um, let me know and I will help as best I can. I will see you next week with another seedling update and another edition of Sew Along With Me in Zone 6B. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Haunt Acre.